Man, look, 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 guys, look, 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 look. Georgia is probably the only team that can lose by 17 in conference championship week and still make the playoff. Man, um, I kind of said that I said this at some point earlier in the year. Um, I said Georgia had to go 12 and 0 just to have the insurance of if they lost to Bama or whoever in the SEC title game that they could still make the playoff. And guess what? They lose and they're still going to the playoff. Now, a lot of Georgia fans are kind of uneasy about playing Michigan, and I understand why. You got blown out by Alabama, who, you know, uh, whatever you want to say about Alabama, congratulations. You played good. Um, Alabama's got a bye week. January, uh, December 31st, they got a bye week. Um, look, Alabama... Uh, is going to probably beat the bejeebus out of Cincinnati. Now, I'm telling you, I just I just think it's going to be a rematch for the national championship. It's going to be Georgia Alabama round two in the Natty. I, that's just what that's what it's shaping up to be. If it is Cincinnati and Georgia, I will be shell shocked. If it's Cincinnati and Michigan, I would even be more shell shocked. Um. I just really don't know if Cincinnati can beat Alabama. I don't think they can. And, you know, look, Cincinnati is kind of like in the Georgia boat. They think they're on top of the world. Well, Cincinnati's going to play a perfect game against Alabama. And, I mean, they played good all year. But, you know, it's hard to say because Alabama has played to the level of their competition uh, almost every game. And, you know, they had some close ones. But, uh, what hurt us in this game, obviously, is the three and outs on offense. The offense, uh, when your offense is on the field uh, for three plays and punt five straight times, um, I don't care who you're playing. The other team, unless they're like Vanderbilt, are guaranteed to get at least one or two scores out of those five three and outs you couldn't get. Because look, when your when your defense has to be on the field for consecutive drives that are going straight for touchdowns, they can't get off the field. They're gassed, man. And Alabama gassed Georgia in the second half, and you know Georgia was up ten nothing going into the second quarter. Um, ten nothing going into the second quarter. Alabama scored twenty four points just in the second uh, quarter, and Georgia got a touchdown. So it was twenty four seventeen at half. Um, the, the second half broke down, just like last year's game. It's identical. Just The game looked like a spitting image of last year's game. Um, Stetson tried to play the hero ball, couldn't do it. Uh, threw a pick, threw a pick six. Um, you can't do stuff like that against Bama. You can't. Um, there was no QB pressure, no sacks, not many tackles for loss, only I think two or three. Um, they were playing some deep zone coverage, and I understand it. Uh, Jamison Williams and John Metchie, you know, two great wide receivers. Bryce Young plays worse when he's rushed. So, and this is what I would do. If you got another shot at Bama, I would rush... I would rush seven, drop four. That is what I would do. I would bring the house every single snap. Drop the four best DBs we got. And keep. I would keep them. I would keep the safeties back. I, 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 I would drop. I would just keep everybody. Keep, you got to keep the play in front of you. Um, but man, these dudes, I don't know, it, it sucks, man. And that's the main concern I've had all year with Georgia is the, the, the secondary. Um, they played all right against teams, um, but nobody like Alabama, obviously, but I don't know. It's, um, it's unfortunate we lost. They just feel like they get, they just weren't in the game, um, 
And I think another factor that goes into this game is they were told, Alabama was told all week, Georgia's going to blow you out. Georgia's going to score 40 points on you. Your offensive line's garbage. You have no run game. Bryce Young's been sacked 33 times. Alabama was told all this stuff all week long. Alabama played with the biggest chip on their shoulder that game. They played pissed off. And that's just the facts. You can tell they played pissed off. Because they were told all week long that Georgia's defense is the greatest thing since sliced bread. So, and I think now, this is a beautiful wake-up call for Georgia, obviously. They have a second chance. Michigan, and I'm, I'm going to move over to Michigan now. Uh, I'm excited about the playoff opportunity. But like I said, if we win and Alabama beats Cincinnati and it's a Georgia-Alabama rematch, I'm not going into this game comfortable. I'm not because we still cannot get over the hump. Um, but now, you know, this game this game is really giving me the Auburn 2017 vibe. You know, we they, we got blown out by them in the regular season, finished 11-1, replayed them in an SEC title game, and we won that game. But – and it's really giving me that vibe. It really is, and it's weird. Now, I would love to replay them, but we first got to get past Michigan. Michigan's a good ball team. But the main thing about Michigan compared to Alabama, they are not Alabama by no means, and they are nowhere near it either. Um, Michigan is a very one-dimensional team. They have a very strong ground game. But other than Haskins, their offense is just kind of bland. It's almost like Georgia's offense. It's just a, a vanilla offense. Um, McNamara, whatever his name is, McNamara, he's got less touchdowns than Stetson does. Uh, he's got a lot of picks. Um, he's got a couple hundred more yards than Stetson. Um, and uh, I believe Haskins has 20 touchdowns, like 1,200 yards, something like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're they're, they're a one-dimensional team. Man. I mean, you, for, you you stop Haskins and you force him to throw the ball, um, force McNamara to throw the ball, no, no trick plays. Uh, I, you're, I mean, you, you pretty much can win that game. I think it's a more manageable game get back into the game plan and hopefully get the rematch um improve what happened on uh december the 4th was a fluke but i don't know it's what it is um if cincinnati were to beat bama i would be blown away that would be that would shock me um immensely um if cincinnati if, if cincinnati were if, if georgia were to lose and Cincinnati were to win, it'd be Cincinnati, Michigan. I'm pulling from Cincinnati all the way. I mean, I, you got to, man. You got to pull for that team. Um, but hopefully that don't happen. I don't want to end the year on a loss. And so we're, we're deep in it now, boys. We're in, we in the playoff now. I don't want to end on a loss. I, I hate ending the season on a loss. That sucks. Um, it really does, man. It really does. Um but, yeah, the Michigan, uh, Georgia-Michigan playoff, Orange Bowl. Uh, Georgia's seven-and-a-half-point favorite right now. The over-under is only 43 points. That is low, uh, very low. I'm assuming they believe a lot of defense is going to be in this game. Uh, 23 uh, for a 43-point over-under. I mean, that's 23-20. Uh, 33-10. Um, I, I'm assuming they think this is probably going to be a very close game, and it could be, but I, 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 I can see Georgia blowing them out. I can. I mean, we'll see. I mean, you know, you never know. I mean, uh, it's just it's college football, but I'm interested to see what happens. But we got we got another shot at the playoff. Um, Georgia at number three. It's exciting, but a lot of work to do. Um, J.T. Daniels, you have four weeks to prepare yourself for the Michigan Wolverines, my man. J.T., my boy, my boy J.T., he's got four weeks to prepare himself. I'm telling you, if Stetson Bennett starts against Michigan, my um, my natural instincts will uh, go through the roof. My fear level will. 
Look, Stetson's a good quarterback, and I've said this before. I'm a Stetson guy. I will root for Stetson. But Stetson is not the quarterback that will get us to the promised land. Um, and, you know, I, look, we've seen him play Alabama twice. Same exact score. I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, I love you, Stetson. I think you're a phenomenal quarterback. Uh, uh, not phenomenal. I think you are a good game managing quarterback, and and you can you you can play great against Stetson Bennett manageable games, like I've said before, which is Tennessee, your Florida's, your South Carolina, your Missouri's, Georgia Tech, um, those teams. Those are Stetson Bennett manageable games. But Alabama, we you got and the main thing that killed us. I know everybody's blaming. Uh, you know, everybody's people's playing with Stetson, and a lot of people are kind of counteracting that with, with the defense. You know, Stetson didn't give up 41 points. Stetson took away uh, two. I mean, Stetson threw the pick six, that's seven points. Threw another pick, I believe, in the red zone. That's another touchdown. That's 14 points off the board. Uh, I mean, that's on our side. So, I mean. There's just a lot that uh, has to be fixed going to Michigan. Uh, and everybody's saying, well, Stetson, you know, blah, blah, this, and blah, blah, that. But, look, when you go three and out, so many times I, I've already said this, your defense gets tired. That's just how football works. It's just how football works. Ain't that right? That's how football works. Ain't that right? What is it, little buddy? Look at that little buddy. He's like, who you talking to, little buddy? Who you talking to? He's like, who you talking to? Look at this kitty kitty. Ah. Very clingy. He said, go dogs. And roll tight. What is it, little buddy? Here you go. Enjoy. But, man, um, I'm excited, obviously. Uh, some things to work on. we got four weeks. A lot of interesting bowl matchups, too. I will be doing some bowl predictions as well. And uh, I'm actually got something coming up. Uh, I started do, I started collecting something. You know, I wanted to do something. Cat. I wanted to do something kind of similar to what Uncle Lou does uh, with the helmets. He collects the helmets for the teams. You know, he has, like, the top 10 shelf, whatever. Um... I I want to do something similar to that, and I wanted to do the helmets myself, but um, let's be honest, I don't have four thousand dollars to spend on helmets. Um, well, I do, but I'm not spending them on helmets. Uh, I'm not spending no. <laughs> I thought I came this close to buying like eight one time, uh, and I was like, Nah, we ain't doing this. But instead, I found something kind of similar. I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's it's. It's teams, like, it's, like, a logo on it, you know, it's a sign of a way, and I'm going to, like, put it on the wall, because I'm, I'm getting ready to move into my house. Um, I got a house almost a month ago. Actually, it's going to be a month tomorrow. Um, so, I'm, I'm getting ready to move in, and this these things, I bought a bunch of them because they were on sale, but they are the college uh, football teams, like, the face mask, okay? So, they're masks, like a regular face mask, but, like, most of them are three packs. They're all fanatics.com. And so most of them are three packs, some singles, and I think a couple double packs. But pretty much they were on clearance for like 79 cents and a dollar. And they retail for like $25. Those are a perfect item if you're an eBay reseller. That's a perfect item to buy a bunch of them and resell them. But I've heard I've also heard that they're a pretty terrible mask themselves. Now I did buy like 11 packs of the Georgia ones. Uh, um, I didn't mean to buy that many of them though. I didn't mean to buy the 11 packs of Georgia, but I bought like probably 50 different teams, uh, 50 different teams. Like I went ahead and just bought all of them. I bought all the like regular masks like these and there was another kind and then there was another kind. There's three different styles of masks, like different like brands or whatever, the Fanatics brand, the Foco brand, and then one other brand. But there's one more style on there that has some other teams that I don't I didn't buy. But I don't like that style of mask. Now, depending on I'm hoping that I'm gonna display them in the package, put on my wall. 
And uh, so it's it's something to collect. Um, I've always wanted to collect like a bunch of all like a bunch of different team stuff. And like I want to do the mini helmets, but that's just a very expensive thing, you know. I don't if, you know, if YouTube was my job and I got paid through YouTube, I would obviously pay it forward to that. Um, but I don't get paid for YouTube, so I mean I'm just not going to explore that option. Maybe I did buy a Georgia mini helmet though, um, and maybe one day down the road I might you know dive into that. But for right now, I think the mask, especially since they were like so cheap, um, I just took advantage of it. But like I said, I've heard these masks, this ain't one of them, this is like something else, but I've heard they're pretty bad, like pretty terrible masks. So the ones that don't, they don't have like the circle, like the ear, ear strings, they have the ones that go like right in the back of your head. And so I've heard they're, it's not the greatest, but I mean, like I said, I bought like 10, 11 packs of the Georgia ones, so I'm going to open one of them up and um, try them out. Because I wear, I have to wear a mask to work, so um as long as they feel, as long as they feel, as long as they fit pretty good, I wear it. But yeah, and so I bought like a bunch of teams, like organs, Matt. I mean, it's just a bunch of teams. Like they didn't have all of them, but like they, I, like I said, I bought probably forty-five to fifty teams. Uh, I didn't get any D two schools, or I got like obviously power five, non power five teams. But when I start getting some of these in the mail, I'll show you guys. I might do an unbox but i'll show you guys once i get them they should be here on some of them should be here on thursday so i'll uh, get them show you what i'm talking about see if it's a pretty cool idea now hopefully i can keep them in the package and have them displayed out like you can see what the team it is but like if some of them if i if it doesn't if i don't think it looks right i might open them and just like find a way to display the mask itself so i don't know it's just something cool something sports related or i can have a bunch of different teams you know i can like do like matchups and stuff and you know bash teams or whatever i don't know just something some kind of like uncle lou does you know because i really i really like that that's a cool idea i mean it's super cool uh, like i said i wish i could do the helmets uh, i mean it would it would take a long time to get the helmets um if i did start i would just buy the sec teams and then i don't even know what conference i'd branch to after that but I don't know. That's just my take on that. But uh, let me know what you think about that mask idea. It's kind of like very similar to what Uncle Lou does with the helmets. But it's going to be mask. So like masks. 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 Like a face mask. So it's pretty cool. It's going to be in a package. Like I'll hold like it'll be like, you know, I'm not going to like just hold it like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's probably a, stu it's probably a stupid idea, but I don't care. I think it's pretty cool something to collect um yeah so pretty cool idea maybe we'll see let me know down below what you think because i done bought them so too late